Convict. Convict. Ugh, I need a weapon. Convict. Lord Vader won't accept defeat. Ugh, ugh, I need a weapon. Again, finicky with sound. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Mongus Max Hawaii channel. That's right. This is like a channel where we do different things, like that different series. I don't know, I'm just gonna... Oh, gotta turn this on. Uh, Waiting orders, Commander. Hmm. Yep. Well, <clears throat> looks like we're getting more and more of a view that uh, uh, Senate impeachment trial is not exactly like a criminal trial because they call it a political trial because there's politics about the so, so, what the what the gonna have a witness gonna have a witness yes there's a new development okay apparently <sighs> what's up doc apparently during the January 6th. Wow! I lost my buffalo horns. During the January 6th. Wow. These Congress people are running for their lives. This mob could have and probably would have killed. I mean, yeah. They had intent to kill. Uh, so when they were running for their lives and shuffling through the building, they're actually running for their lives. And the vice president, Pence, who the president said, I need you to be brave and to change what they did. And he didn't because he had this, he doesn't have the power to do that under the constitution. And he's remaining, you know, under following the constitution, which they're all sworn by God to protect and defend. So, so he's doing the Constitution way, which made him the target when Trump was lit, watching this stuff go on. The guy, uh, McCallum, calls him up on the phone while the riot's happening and says, Trump, you gotta call off your people. You gotta call off your people. They're inside. You gotta call off your people. And Trump's reply is like, well, I guess they're more upset about the election results than you are. It's like, and he's like, what the f do you think you're talking to? So that development is pretty damning. <laughs> and the other thing was, you know, the, the, the prosecution the democrat side right now it's like now it's democrat now it's bipartisan the democrats they, they put on the the big movie right which is really a documentary documenting the facts of timelining it from a b c d e f watching this parallel development between the crowd and the people inside it was horrific and it was so powerful that it moved actually moved some republicans like Dang, man, I ain't gonna be on the wrong side of history with this one. Screw you guys. Yeah, I'm valuable. So instead of the then toe the line, party line, they're starting to move over. But not enough. Then the defense people who were not really that prepared. But they tried to tear that thing apart because they saw it was so powerful, you have to break it down. So they tried to tear it down by saying, well, here he is editing the movie, and here's one of those tweets he showed as a screenshot. And this is basically implying that he faked evidence, right? He's faking it. Basically lying to people with a lie that he faked. And, all this. <laughs> and basically the very same guy lied out of his mouth directly when he was asked. He says, well, was was the president knowledgeable 
of this going on. As far as I knew, there wasn't an evidence in that, and he was never, never warned and aware of this thing going on. Like he was clueless in a room. So, man, he's like lying out of his, out of his ass. So it got all crazy. So now, the new phase. They weren't gonna do it, they're gonna go, they thought it was clean cut, bam, bam, there it is. You either vote for or against. It's just so clear, clut, they thought evidence. Clut, clut, clut. So now, they voted to call witnesses and the vote was passed. They're at recess right now. They're gonna open up in seven minutes. And basically they're gonna call witnesses which I don't know if that's going to help much because in the face of reality and fact, the GOP, Q, and on senators are going to vote what they're going to vote. They don't want to lose that Trumpy bear base, voting base. And that's the wrap up. But this is newspaper. <laughs> That's right. This is where we look what's in the newspaper. But it's obviously three, two, one. Newspaper. It's electronic online. And I got the real newspaper. But I'll hold up a, a facsimile of yesterday's newspaper so we can do headlines. I guess it doesn't matter with the. But that is it, I guess. Lighting. Here we go. What's on the outside shows you what's on the inside. Headline. Passport picture. That's the one. Yeah. Right. What is on the newspaper headline? Well, as we can see in the uh, Zazan Baba Dugate, the bill allows for a dump, <laughs> move cursor, bump in pay. Uh, okay, and that means someone wants to be made more money. Um, the people who want to be paid more money are who? Me? I don't got any, no one's, I don't got any money. I'm in debt and I don't got no money. <sighs> A million light years from being monetized. <laughs> no Patreon. Nothing coming in on crypto. Nothing. So, good luck with all you guys and your money complaints, especially you multi millionaire mother. <gasps> but look, these guys right here, this one right here, this is basically they, they threw a bill, right, into the state government and that well they're gonna have some things and contract talks and stuff like this but the bill is gonna allow so it's not it's not it's not in law yet it's still a bill but you know it's basically unions and you're talking like law enforcement firefighters teachers unions school principals engineers technicians university of hawaii system professors and other employees and they all get massively overpaid as it is but they want more money. They're always like more money here. And they're like, the unions own this place. It's um, where they buried Jimmy Hoffa's damn remains or something. Uh, can't do nothing without union stuff here. So what else we got? Uh, well, it said this stuff about turning the tables. 1.5% positivity rate. I'm just gonna, new case is 70, not bad. Oahu, 33 new cases. Oh, defense, turn tables on the Democrats. Oh, it's just like, you know, the real news is the pandemic and the vaccine, but that's a little boring unless you're actually getting the vaccine and signing up for it, or I don't know, at home with the tinfoil hat, worried about <laughs> some type of QAnon thing. But let's not go there right now. I mean, 
Conspiracy theories, yeah. Man, they're real interesting, man. Conspiracy theories, man, blows my mind, man. But when it comes to life and death in real life situations and reality, forget you. You can stick with the freaking. Okay, back in the day, here we go. Sergeant McGruff, arr, the crying dog, back in 88, talks to uh, kids uh, about preventing themselves from crime and talk, I don't know, protect themselves. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm forgot, if you grew up to be a criminal, you don't have to deal with me. I'm a furry. And in 20 years, they'll be calling me a furry. Uh, schools can reopen under safety measures, CDC says. So one of the things they want to have happen is possible to happen with CDC. Now, what they do with that, hey. And there, I didn't know this too much because I wasn't focusing on it. But vaccinations, vaccine. Sin, 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 sin city vaccinations like the Pfizer, Moderna, that kind of thing, and the new one Johnson and Johnson's. <laughs> this comes in a powder for your ass. Uh, those vaccines aren't for children, so they're testing them on children, monkeys. I don't know what they do, rats and monkeys and stuff. I don't know, but um, <clears throat> they're getting close to um. You know, the kid version. <laughs> Vax. Vax for kids. <laughs> that sort of thing. And um, so here you see a shot. Um, this one's a 15 year old, not a child. <laughs> I got schooled in that, you know. Technically, they're children under 18, is child in the teaching world, and then you can't put my ch I want you to go home and copy this and have your parents sign it. I want my child in there. I'm not a child. Okay, I'll just uh, smooch it where uh, uh, my creature, monster. Um, so, yeah, 15. That's like a freshman in high school. <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> sit down, roll up your sleeve, okay. Because when you're, when you're in high school, you're right out of another school into another, you're, you're new at the other school. So that's why you think you're all badass, but you get put down real hard, so. Freshmen are sit in your seat. Roll up the sleeve. Sir, yes, you sir, ma'am, sir. Okay, attacks put Asian communities on the edge, apparently. <clears throat> because of comments like everybody was kung fu fighting. Is changed. That's a great song, but it's kung flu fighting. That will still would have been great, except Bonehead, Pumpkinhead, had to use it in racial freaking context. So now you can't go kung flu fighting. It's like hee hee hee. Instead of that, and now it's like freaking you're crucified under the wall for Pontius Pilate's racism against Jesus because he was a Jew. Because you're just racist, you damn Romans are all racist. What the hell is going on? I don't know where. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, they say the plague virus comes from Wuhan. So they're going Chinese, right? And so now, in big cities that have Chinatown, like San Francisco, all the old people, right, gotta watch out. Because you get these young ones going, screw you! You know? And they're like shoving these old people to the ground and just, whoa. You know? Because they're all frustrated about this persecution thing. So someone has got a 90-year-old guy gets shoved on this other guy has 84 gets shoved to the ground, he died. It's like, ah man, that's like, you know, that's like zombie apocalypse stuff. That's like, it starts getting evil. I mean, that's like, you know, you just wanna grab a fire. I'll show you what we used to do in the 1800s in Montana. And um, of course, New Orleans with the Mardi Gras coming up because uh, right about the time the Super Bowl people are gonna be peaking with hospitalizations from the Super Bowl parties, which is Wednesday, the 17th, which is also Ash Wednesday. So the day before is Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. Everyone party up before the fasting Lent, because Mardi Gras, French Quarter is very Catholic, uh, influenced from way before, and, and vampires, of course, and voodoo, yeah, and Santeria. <clears throat> Anyways, so New Orleans for Mardi Gras is going to be shut down. They're putting a mute on it, so they have this NOPD. N-O, no. And they have a little voodoo um, uh, 
<laughs> symbol on there. If you don't obey that, you will be voodooized. <clears throat> and there's a panda, and I don't care. <laughs> and so we continue on, so we're looking around, and what else is going on in the news? News and news and news and news. And we have um, Hanama Bay opens earlier, so I guess Hanama Bay very popular. And they're gonna open them up, eh? Open up, Hanama Bay, ba 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 ba. Is it, is it coffee? Try to go too fast with lots of coffee. Yeah, da da ba do. Yeah, so um, Hanama Bay is really popular, right? So when they open it up, it's going to be hoo hoo. And so they're going to open a open it early because they want money. They want your tourist dollars. It's cool, come pay money, buy money. That's okay. Man, it's like you know, hey, whatever. Hanama Bay, you know, it's a lot different now than it's a lot very different from when I was a kid. The entrance part and everything is like you're going into some type of strange what the hell processing center. Anyways, you see this picture right here. If you look right back there, if I move my right back there, that dark line is a shelf that goes underneath. There's a beach and it's kind of rocky, so everyone just ignores that. And there's a kind of an overhang shelf. If you go in there, you can kind of sit in the shade a little bit. Not really, but kind of. Well, anyways, that's an ancient Hawaiian shelter. Yes, it is. We found out from Bishop Museum. Thanks, Bishop Museum, <laughs> for us rogue archaeologists. Amateur archaeologists, not grave robbers. <laughs> oh, we didn't find human bones. But um, yeah, we found a little, um, I found a little, little uh, coral, coral file, sh sh filing. Anyways, that's real life. Let's do a uh, big Q race and it's going back and forth too much. Big Q, what do, we, what do you do with Big Q? Okay, let's find out. <sighs> the question is, Will you be double masking given our new data about breed benefits of two masks against the coronavirus? <sighs> double masking? Is a mask, you mean a pale ihu? Pale ihu? Are you going to. I don't know what these are. Oko pale ihu Ikea? Go get your mask. I don't know, I forgot. Me poia oe ika paele ihu? Ihu. Ihu. Double ihu. <laughs> pale ihu. Double pale ihu. All right, stop it. Hawaiian word for the day. Without the sentences. 16% maybe, if I remember. That's me. 49%. No. Too much trouble. One mask enough. 35% definitely will adopt habit. So basically you get half the people say, screw you. And 16% uh, if I remember. Oh God. God help us. Come on, Holy Spirit. Oh, the ancient conch shell is used for music. Look at this thing here. Okay. Um, this thing is 18,000 uh, years old. They found it in France, which is like where you find a lot of Neanderthal stuff. You know, you get the Australopithecus, if you know anything about um, paleo, uh, paleo ontology of humans and proto-humans humans kind of evolutionary come out of africa and then they have migrations elsewhere and this is like you know africa the top half of africa was a big vast jungle welcome to the jungle now it's the sahara desert but then they kind of went over and they kind of went that way and that way and you got like standing up and you got the homo habilis with the hand and the homo erectus which is uh, not to be explained on this channel. No, that's standing upright in two legs. And um, and there's a side branch, Homo sapien neanderthalis, which is like a subspecies of our species, Homo sapien sapien. Follow? <laughs> Anyways, Homo habilis. <laughs> but Cro Magnon, yeah, let me show you this one. That's right. I like this stuff too. And you can buy stuff on eBay. This is a stone tool. 
You see where it's chipped? See, it's smooth, it's like a big stone, it's like a river pebble, and it's chipped. This is a stone axe from basically Cro-Magnon Man, which is homo whatever, homo magnum, <laughs> something, magno, it's homo something or other. Uh, Cro-Magnon, look at that. You know how long it took to do that? Chip a stone like that? Actually millions of years. That's what they were doing for millions and not millions and millions, but about a, like a million years, they're in stone tools. Yeah. Take a long time to figure that one out, eh? But Conchell, this is like 1800. This is like uh, Ice Age still. So this is like kind of Neanderthalish. Nah, after Neanderthal, but it's the oldest wind instrument, I guess. No, Moses Conchell. Um, 12 inches, so that's like about this big. So that's like, you know. Eighteen thousand years ago. Thank you. Get on with it. <laughs> I like paleontology and archaeology and da 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 Frissa. Now, what else are we going on here, KK? There was something else in here. It's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, this one, super tall barrels, eh? Look at this building right here. This is New York City, right? This is like post 9 11, of course. <laughs> uh, this is 1,400 foot hour. Holy crap, how many floors is that? It's like 140 floors? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, like 100 or something. 432 Park Avenue. Hey, hey. <laughs> They're having problems though. All the tenants are like going, what the hell? Because it's so big, it's so tall that the thing rafters fall off and it creates problems and leaks and $500,000 and damage and water leaks and all kinds of stuff. And if, and if <clears throat> <clears throat> they thought, they're still building, they're still building, they're still building it as God's gift to the world, and it's not, New Yorkers. I love unique New York, unique New York loves me. And if you look, it says water failure lines and this and that, and buildings is swaying at the top. Oh God, is it gross? It's like at the top. <coughs> All day. <laughs> and then it says the garbage chute, I can't, oh, safety issues and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> but if you if you put the garbage down the garbage chute, it says it sounds like a bomb. Everybody hates each other here, but for the most part, residents really keep the squabble. <laughs> so they had problems. And then there's that, and then there's that, and then there's that, and we don't care. And then there's this lady that gave this young woman who gave the <laughs> the poem. Now headbands are in style, so get your headbands out. Get your headbands out. Headbands out. Da, 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 da. Uh, stop it already. Okay, so what we're going to do here is look at Let Us to the Editor. Yeah, if we can find them here. Come on. My light bulb runs out. Wah, 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 wah. Let Us to the Editor. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <sighs> I understand that Republicans in some states now believe they can't win unless voter qualifications are changed. Republicans need more, more education in civics. Among other restrictions, they want everyone to have a photo ID. I have another idea. Every voter should be required to pass a test on U.S. civics like the one immigrants have to pass before becoming United American citizens. That would filter out a lot of people not informed to vote in our democracy. It's just a thought. On second thought, it might not help the Republicans. Boots. James Young, St. Louis Heights. Our common language 
turning into emojis. Blue, ça change. Blue, c'est la même chose. This is a French expression, <laughs> meaning the more things change, the more they remain the same. I mention this because I asked my phone Let me say that again. I mention this because I just asked my phone how many emojis are there. Hello phone, how many emojis do you have? She answered instantly 3,178. If I calculate correctly, that is the almost double the Chinese characters needed to write a letter or read a book or newspaper. World literacy is reverting to kaji via emoji. Brunts. Our common world language of tomorrow. John Woolstein, Doctorate of Education, Waikiki. <laughs> ah, God help us. Oh, time. Killing Vax. Killing uh, vacation rentals kills jobs for residents. You cheer the collapse of vacation rentals in Hawaii when they are the only choice left for most visitors. This kills paying jobs for the few Hawaii workers still employed in tourism and blocking visitors will hardly help long-term landlords rent to unemployed people while owners still can't even require them to pay rent. Walter Wright, Kaneohe. Hey, sorry Walter for my, 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 my Morgan Freeman went out the window, but that's okay. I tell you what, we're gonna have more fun watching the trial. Ready for action. Witnesses. Can I have a witness? I need a weapon. Give me your witness. Fight for the Empire. Yeah, I'm sure. Fight for the Empire. Fight for the Empire. Empire. Oh, sorry. Anyways, just a little look at the news to have fun with it. So let it alleviate the pressure. Check them out the stuff. Don't forget, uh, like and subscribe. Keep moving, Cooper. Like and subscribe. Isn't that right? Tinky? Tinky? Two, two mask. Two mask. Two, two mask. Oh. Uh, like and subscribe. Hi. Like. Hi, subscribe. Now, uh, now, where's my cheese crackers? You said get cheese crackers, cheese crackers. Where's my cheese crackers? Now, 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 cheese crackers. See, yeah, uh, you gotta listen to Dinky. Anyways, it's hang loose. Have a happy Sunday, a uh, Sunday tomorrow, but Saturday today. Hang loose, it's uh, the only way to go. What can happen, eh? Oh, oh no.